okay you're welcome to this class and this these are the codes we have written so far I'll, um, I'm gonna open the browser this is the output so uh, I'll try to put them side by side so that uh, we can see the code and then the output here this is a browser and these are the things that we have been able to create uh, I won't be able to work with it like that so the first thing we are going to do here is to arrange or organize our code to look more uh, presentable and easy to work with so right here we are using in, uh, inline CSS and we're using internal CSS so we want to separate the CSS from the HTML all right because we have started doing some styling so I want the code to be uh, properly arranged after that we'll go into another thing so for us to separate our CSS from HTML, it means that we're going to copy all these styles that we have here into a separate file and then link the CSS file back to the HTML file. So we we'll go on to go on to the Explorer. You click on the file which is here, then. You call it style.css. Okay, here we have style.css, and uh, I'm coming over here to copy all these codes from this table heading. I'll copy it down. Okay, I'll stop here. I'll use Control X to cut it and then I will come over here and I'll paste it here okay so I'm going to delete the style elements that we have here because we don't need it anymore okay now I've deleted the style elements that we have and um, okay I'm going to leave some of these style in here but Okay, we are going to remove everything. Let's remove everything and leave only the class names and all those things there. Right now, if I view our page, um, things are not going to be really organized. All right, so some things are still styled because the the styles were applied using the style attributes on the HTML element so i'm going to get rid of all of them and i want you to watch carefully as i remove them okay so i'm going to take away starting from this i'll take away this background color and uh, i'll cut go to the css so i'm going to arrange them in the order that we copy them so this is the first i'll put it here I remember it doesn't have anything yet so if we check the page it doesn't have any selector yet if we check the page the background color is gone so the selector that we need to use here to apply the background color uh, is going to be the body element because that is where um, that is where we want to apply this background color we want the background to carry this color sky blue okay background color uh, why is showing the on the line red on the line is because there is error so i'll have to take away this quotation we do not need them okay it's fine now then have to oh it is still not working yet okay i know why it is not working and then we'll have to copy everything 
before we check whether it is working or not. So let's keep on going. So something we need to understand now is uh, when we are using external CSS file, we do not need to put quotes around the, the, the CSS values or properties that we apply. So here we have quotation marks, but the other side, we do not need it. So after that, I'm going to copy this one uh, on the heading two. Okay. I will cut it. And then we applied it on the heading two. So I'm coming down to call heading two selector. And then Sorry, color braces, and I paste it here. So when I paste it, I need to break them so that they would be properly arranged. So you break them down like this. Good. You see there is no quotation and there is no error sign. That's fine. And as you are removing them, don't forget to delete the style attributes here together with the quotes okay and then this is a class this okay this is um we have style on the image so i'm going to take it out so as I'm taking this out, take note of the element where we're cutting it from. This is an image and it has a class, Shawarma image. So, we'll come to the CSS and then we'll give. So here, I, I can decide to put the element dive dot, okay, no space dive dot shawarma img for image and then i put color braces and i paste okay so we have border then the border radius that's fine no error message and then over here We'll delete this style. Delete this style. Okay. That's fine. And the next one is go down. So let's separate all of them. A table width. Okay. I'm going to leave this here. The letter, and I will explain why we need to leave it here. We can as well take it out, but I prefer this to be here. And then. The caption, I want to take away the styles on the caption and the table caption. Oh, well, still, let me take everything out. Okay. I'm going to cut this. And uh, here, I'm going to give it a table. Sorry. Um... I'll give it a table and then paste this here and then before I copy the other one the next one is table caption okay the table caption here we have from here to here so I cut it off then we paste it here. We have four. Remove the style elements. Uh, the visitor came and then dog is not happy. <laughs> it's 
So I think we've removed all the CSS that we have, all the styles that we have in here. Okay, everything is set. But then if we visit our page, uh, the page has returned to the default display. So all the settings has been taken away. Now, the next thing we need to do is to link the, the, the CSS file back to HTML so that the styles would come back again. Then what we need to do here is we come under this in in between the head elements the head tag right where i told us that all the information between the head tag are invisible to the web page and the web page except the title that is displayed on the title bar so below this we're going to put a link so we type in link then you hit enter if you're using vs code but then as you are using vs code you are using link rel equal open quotation and you type in style sheets okay you know what let me just redo it so that you can be able to type it yourself so you open you put the open tag symbol you type link space rel equal sign then you open your your quotation mark and then you type in style sheets okay which tells us okay what we want to connect here is a style sheet file so you put href that is to reference the style sheet you want to connect to html you put equal sign and then open your quotation mark again then you type the name of the style sheet so here our own name is style dot css okay then we've done that and then let's go back check our page once again wow that's good so all the styles are back which means any time we want to add extra styling, we do that on our style uh, file, on our CSS file separate from the HTML. So we can do that on this page and then it would show on our website. All right, so we have learned how to create external CSS and separate styling from the structure of the web page. The structure is done with a HTML while the styling is done with a CSS. So we want these two files to be separate. Then in our next class, we'll continue where we stopped. Thank you and then see you in the next class. Bye.